going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Red Kiwis and in this video we're going to be talking about school. That time of year again people, where you all have to go to school. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel bad for you guys. I really do. I don't have to go to school. Thank God. Um, graduated. I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Me and Tens are actually taking a year off of uh, college and university and school and everything basically just to do YouTube. And I, I wouldn't say we're the most successful people, but we do enjoy doing this. So that's why, you know, we're trying to take it as far as we can. I can tell you right now, I have had my run-ins with school, with teachers, with students with just everything possible in school like I'm, I'm just here to talk about my experience my first day of school kindergarten scared shitless I cried my parents were like oh no and then I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here crying at the doorstep picture this right we're all everybody's outside all the parents are outside of the school at the front of the school all the little kindergartners are lined up ready to go inside all the students are saying bye to their kids or whatever then there's me crying my eyes out all the students walk into school i'm literally holding on to the door the teacher is holding on to my fucking legs the teacher is holding on to my legs both of them pulling me while my hands are on the door i'm not even kidding that is a real story and that happened my first day of school. I didn't want to go. I was scared shitless. I didn't know anybody there. I just wanted to stay home and be with my parents. Honestly, I was scared shitless, but I ended up having a good day regardless. And I, I think we colored centipedes my first day. Not entirely sure what we did. Second grade, we ended up moving houses to this house that we're in right now, actually. And uh, that means I had to go to a whole new school, a whole new district. And dude, I was scared shitless. I was the new kid. I didn't have any friends. I cried. Third grade, I didn't cry though because there was this girl next to me that was crying and it made me feel better about myself, so I didn't cry. It was pretty cool. So basically, every single year after that, it just got better and better. I didn't cry. Younger Kiwis just got used to school and had friends and it was great. It was a good time. Middle school came, good, easy time, met some really good friends in middle school. High school came, freshman year, the worst thing! Fuck freshman year, dude. You see like seniors having beards and shit and you're like, what the fuck, he actually has a beard? And you're just like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I'm just a little bitch and everybody else is walking around like they know where all the classes are and I, I, like the first day of school, like all the freshmen had no idea what the fuck, like you're a freshman, like okay, you're, so, you're kind of expected to just get shit on the entire year and that's basically what happened, my entire class just got shit on and that's just how it was. 10th grade year was fine, 11th grade year was fine, and then senior year was probably the most fun I've ever had, school wise at least, and it was probably my easiest year too, and this is really sad because I didn't fail any classes throughout my whole school career. I was actually a smart fucking kid, like throughout basically everything except, you know, when I hit high school, my grades started to fall down. I think video games had something to do with it. Honestly, I have no idea, but so I didn't fail any classes throughout my whole high school career. And what's really sad about this is I hit senior year. I got all these easy classes and I pass basically every class easy the first semester, second semester, the final semester, I dreaded Woods class so much. I hated it. I did not, I did not want to go to Woods class at all. I literally would just fucking, there was nobody to talk to. I was the, literally one of the only seniors in that class. I either sat next to fucking freshmen or sophomores. It was unbelievable. I had literally nobody to talk to. So I am literally doing what I fucking hate alone with nobody to talk, I just hated that class. I would sit on my phone the whole entire time, look at Twitter, post in the morning. If you guys follow me on Twitter back when I actually did go to school, you guys would notice that I was always on Twitter while I was at school. I ended up failing that class. I ended up failing Woods class and I literally had the worst running with that teacher. I'll never forget this, literally for the rest of my life. I have lied to that motherfucker so many times. I made myself look like an idiot in front of his face so many times. I have literally lied to his face He, while he knew I was lying. So basically, I didn't want to do my woods project. I was just like, dude, what if I just like fucking bought like a wooden box online or something? Like I just, you know, I literally was thinking about doing that. I would sit in the class and browse like Amazon to try and find like a replica of what we're making in class. 
It was that bad. I was thinking about doing it. I was like, you know what, dude? I'm just going to blow off this whole semester, you know, because the project was due at the end of the semester. So I was just like, dude, I have this whole semester to goof off, sit on my phone. Turns out you need to follow the exact instructions on the box itself. And every single day, the woods teacher will come up to me. Uh, John, you're gonna do your you're gonna do your work. Like all you do is sit here on your phone. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, don't worry. I'm working on it at home. It's basically done. I'll come in with it in a couple weeks, dude. He was like, all right. It, he he was fine with it for like the first day. And then every single day, I kept saying the same thing. And I thought he believed it, but then he just started giving me that look, dude. That disappointed, I hate you, fuck you, student type look, like. Oh my god, he was the he was like a nice teacher too, but he just hated me. I felt like a fucking idiot. Like I I would literally dread going back to that class because I didn't want to look at his fucking face. It was that bad. Like I literally hated that class, and I had to wake up and go to it every single morning. I was just sitting there again. It was like the last two weeks of the school, and he was like, "So John, uh, what happened to that box?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm basically just gonna give up." I said that. I was like, "I'm just giving up," and he was like. He looked at me for like three seconds and he was like, okay, and just walked away. And I was just like, nice, dude. I basically lied the whole semester saying I had the box done and then I just said I'd give up. Like, I felt so stupid. And I, I don't know. The day before the exam, he was like, you know, John, you don't even have to show up tomorrow because uh, you're going to fail either way. You could get 100% on the exam and you still fail the class. And I was like, yeah. I'm well aware of that. I still went anyways. And for the essay, I basically wrote how don't be like me and do your work. I literally didn't answer any of the questions and uh, all I did was write the essay. He shows the essays to new beginners in Woods class for like the next year. And basically I wrote how you should just not be like me and actually work on your stuff and not be an idiot and don't procrastinate like I did and don't lie and don't be an idiot. Literally, I wrote that in my essay. I wonder if he's gonna show that this year. He probably will. I don't know. He's probably gonna tell the story too. He's probably gonna go, oh, last year I had this student that never did his work and he lied to me all the time even though I knew he was lying. It was pretty funny. You know how every teacher has like a student story or whatever? That's, that's what it's gonna fucking happen. And his last name was like something outrageous. He was like Mr. Googling flagging. Like it was something, it was, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys listen to me talk, about like school or whatever I you probably you guys probably don't want to hear about school at all but you know um, yeah that's just my experience you know I, I I've had so many more teachers where I just fucking hated and whatever I could talk about that if you guys want I have so many stories and so much shit that I could talk to you guys about um, but yeah it has been your boy red kiwis I'm out bitch Hold up.